Hey guys, welcome back to another vSAM Suite tutorial video. My name is Tony Ganyan, and I'm the North American Ford Gas Sales Manager here at HP Tuners. Today, we're talking about how to use a template applicator. So the template applicator is one of the best new functions we have at HP Tuners. I'll give you an example. Let's say you spend a lot of time researching injector data. You've put all that data into a file. You save all that data, you write it to the calibration, the vehicle runs great. Two weeks from now, you have another vehicle come in that has that same injector and you want to put that in there. Multiple ways we could do it. We could use our compare file. We could go grab the data, put it in that way. But in this case, we would use a template editor and actually create the calibration using strictly our injector data. Then all I have to do is hit three buttons and we can take that whole calibration for the injector data and put it directly into it by grabbing something called a template. Let's get into it. One of the most powerful tools we have in the editor software is a tool called the template applicator. Two parts to it, template editor and template applicator. What we're gonna do right now is we're gonna talk about how to set that up in the vehicle to save you time and money when you're doing tunes from vehicle to vehicle. First thing we do is I'm gonna change the speedometer limiter on this. We'll make it 135 since he's upgraded the tires on it to that speed. I'm also going to go ahead and change the fan control for desired coolant temp. Move that down to 212. So we set that right up there. All right. And then we'll do one more thing here on our desired percentage of coolant. We're going to put 10% in here. Let's say you have a fleet of vehicles that you want to do these specific changes to. We're going to go ahead and save those specific changes as the template applicator. So the way to do this, we're going to go to Tools, Template Editor. We're going to go over here to the left and select New File. And then we have some choices here. We have Select Parameters to Import. We have Import Parameters from a Template. Or, in this case, we import Unsaved Parameters. That's what we're going to use right now. When I click on that, that's going to bring up the parameters that I've already modified. And these are I'm going to save as a template. We're going to call it, um, call it GM Base Mod. For a 19 GM, we'll save that. And now it's all done for that part for saving it. Now let's say tomorrow you have another 19 GMC come in and you want to load the same calibration or you're doing that fleet of vehicles we talked about, you go to vehicle to vehicle. I'm opening up the new, the new file and now I'm going to apply that template. And how I do that is with the template applicator. Click on the template applicator. I'm going to go to my little folder, open file. There's the one I want, which is a GM base. It shows you the ones that you want to change. Okay, we're going to apply the changes. And the final part is right here, apply selected parameters. Now you're going to notice that you're going to get some keys here. It's going to say skipped, success, failed, or not. There you go. If you'll notice, skipped, none of them were skipped. Failed, none of them failed. But success, we had all of those succeed. So those actually have went in there. At that point in time, we are all set. If you notice now, those things are in pink because they've been changed. Save the file as your mod one. And now you're ready to go. Now that you have that template built, from now on, any 19 that comes in that you want to do those specific mods to, you just open up your template applicator, select it, and write it to the vehicle. Saves you time and money, obviously, makes it easy to do the job with a template applicator. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you have a better grasp on template applicator. If you have any questions, please comment below so we can help you out. We also have plenty of resources linked in the description to check out too. If you haven't already done it, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any new content and we'll see you in the next video.